So what if you didn't try so hard? What if you didn't try so hard? Let me tell you how this came about. Two, two pronged. I've been on this thing for about a week now with uh, Coach Don Staley, whose name is like on the lips and hearts of a lot of people in it. And that's what you call uncommon favor, right? But um, anyway, uh, I was thinking of her life and I've, I've said this several times. So if, if I'm repeating myself, you know, I'm not going to say forgive me. I know if I'm repeating myself, forgive me. No, I want to repeat myself because I was told by a marketer uh, that you have to hear or see see something seven times before it kind of really registers. So I'm saying this to say, you know, what if you didn't try so hard, meaning uh, your gifts, the things that you do naturally, the things that you do just like breathing. See, breathing is an unconscious act, but it but we we need air to breathe. We need to breathe to get taken to air to live and all that. You know what I mean? But we don't even think about it. It's something that comes naturally. Your gifting is something that you don't have to necessarily think about. Didn't say you didn't perfect it even more or cultivate it even greater to a greater level. But I'm saying that um, your gift is something that you do and you do it. You would do it if nobody gave you anything, accolades, money, space. You would you would still do it because it's something that, that you can't. I just saw a gremlin. That's so funny. Um, Cause it's like when the water hits them, something water signs. Okay, I'm talking to you, intuitive ones. Those of you who are artistic and dreamy and romantic and sensual and and pleasure seeking, right? Pleasure seekers, right? You, it's it's you have to do it. It'll just ooze out of your pores if you try to hold it. Okay, so this is a this is a gift of yours. It could be speaking, it could be teaching, it could be reading, writing, singing, playing, drawing, making love, literally making love, making people fall in love with with the way you love, the way you live. It could be so many things. It's it's immeasurable, it's innumerable, but it's all good because you if you you don't have to try hard. You don't have to try hard. And some of our program, much of our programming is about performance, the doing, do, 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 do part. But if we could get our doing to line up with our loving or line it up with our desires, we wouldn't try to do it. Nothing. What? It's not work. When you love what you do, it's not work. When you love who you are, life is not a struggle. Yes. When you understand that money is a tool and not the end all be all, but when you even get a greater understanding that money is just simply a form of currency, energetic currency, and you can get that the same way you can get attention, you can get time, you can get talent, you can get resources. It's in other words, you don't necessarily need money to get things. That's just a mindset. Eh, ama, oh, oh, ene, oh, oh, mister, kala. That's just a mindset. And that mindset, somebody, well, I like to see you trying to live without it. Ask somebody who doesn't have it. Don't they have it? What? You homeless, but you got on job. You got a watch on your hand, but you, you got no roof over your head, but you got, you see what I'm saying? So, so the point is that can't be it, right? So what is it? It's inside of you. So what if you didn't try so hard? Don Staley is a wonderful, excellent, not only basketball player, but now a coach. In other words, she took what she had and because she also has a teaching ability, a mentoring anointing, a mantle to lead and guide and shepherd others. Now her gift is becoming the thing that opens doors that pays her. Her gift, her, her purpose, her purpose pays her now. So now she's set up for life. There's a legacy there. Not only that in her particular family, but the lives that she has touched. Imagine the players when they have children and their children have, you know what I'm saying? That's that. And that is how you do that. That's why with you, if you say, oh, my family was toxic or, oh, this is, this was bad. It's okay. It's, it's really, it's really okay. You should just say thank you because that means you are to reach outside of what you consider blood because you didn't learn loyalty with blood. You didn't learn commitment with blood. You didn't learn values maybe with blood, but you went outside of that and you created a community or you found yourself a family that took you in, understood you, cultivated what you had, let some things marinate, gave you grace, compassion, acceptance, and look at you blossoming. And so with that, guess what you did? Then you began to have children and then you taught that same thing to your children and then so on and so forth. The same way dysfunction can get passed down is the same way love gets passed up. Because at the end of all things, it goes back to love. So what if you just naturally let yourself shine? As I started to say, Dawn Staley had a gift of playing basketball and it took her all the way, right? Right? 
and you don't try hard for that. Now you get, now you get, you see when you're in that, 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 that balance, that temperance, I'm seeing temperance, hello Sagittarians. But when you have that balance of that masculine, you're doing plus your inner knowing and your being, when the doing and the being is a balance, then you are a force to be reckoned with. And that is what we are witnessing. That's what we have witnessed when we watch these uh, games, these championship games and hearing about all these women's athletes, these names that are on the, on the tongues of the people, the names that are put in the wind. You know what I mean? This is what we are witnessing. When you just allow your gifts to flourish and somebody around you sees that in you. Somebody around you can see that because you're always, it feels like you coming through the jungle and there's no help, but there's always, if you think back and look back, there's always somebody that was kind of guiding you and pulling you through. They're like little landmarks or, or little signposts. It could have been a teacher. It could have been a guidance counselor. It could have been a lover. It could have been a, a friend of, of the parents of, of other friends. It could have been your a recruiter or something. You know what I mean? It, it could be anything. The boys and girls counselor. Somebody just kind of like, like let you know, I see you out here. I see you out here. And so those people help you cultivate. I keep saying cultivate. I've said it like three or four times. So cultivate, cultivate. Somebody put that, uh, that in the um, chat, please. The definition of cultivate. Somebody needs to see that. I don't know. I'm just going to keep talking. But um, And thank you for doing that. And so... Um, so uh, what was I saying? Yes. So when you do, when, when you are being brought up and, and your natural, the things you do naturally begin to come forth and you become, to, you become comfortable with that. Oh, I can't even talk. It's, it's getting so good. And you become comfortable with that. My dad just told me, take a breath. He said, take, take, take a breath. That's how <laughs> breathe. They go get it. Take a breath. Matter of fact, drink it some water. <laughs> okay, daddy. <laughs> Try to acquire or develop. It's a quality, a sentiment, or skill. That what that's what cultivate means. Thank you, Cam. Prepare and use for crops or gardening. That's another good one. Because some of you are gardeners. Some of you guys are. Thank you, Holly Joe. Holly Jolene, Jolene. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that one, but thank you. Um, some of you are gardeners, so do it. That's This is your confirmation. You don't, you don't need another summer. You don't need another spring to make the decision. All right, so, so let's get into this, okay? Let's get into this. Um, what if you didn't have to try so hard? Imagine becoming a millionaire many times over doing something that you do without thinking about it. Something that comes so natural to you. That's why they call them gifts because other people see it and say, I can't do that or I don't have that. That's why it's a gift and it's okay. That's why we don't have to be jealous of anybody's gifts because we all have them, right? So there's no room for jealousy. So I'm just saying, imagine becoming wealthy by doing something that comes very natural to you. Something that you would do if, how many of you lined your doll babies up or your pets and, and did a whole sermon or sang a song or, you know, modeled some clothes? What you, what you think, Fluffy? You know, Fluffy, you know, you even got Fluffy, you know, looking at you up and down like, you know, one paw, both paws up is, is good to go. You know what I mean? So, you know, you don't, you don't need a, 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 an audience or adulation or adoration because... That's just who you are, right? That's why we, we hear that word. Be authentic, be authentic. What does it really mean? It really means just do you. What does that mean? I'm serious. Like the part of you that you say, if people really saw this side of me, they would think I was crazy or they would think I was... If you have ever done a sentence like that, if people really saw me when, they, when I'm doing fill in the blank, they would think I was fill in the blank or they would think I was... You know what I mean? Then that's, that's the you. That's the real authentic you because right with that part, you just balance it. You balance that thing with, with the other part of you that's like, now you know you need to stop. We all have that internal mama. That's why it's okay. It's sad if you had, didn't grow up with a maternal figure, but you're okay. You have it inside of you. That's why you become the mother that you never had. That's why it's okay to let go of the grief and the dissatisfaction with the mother wound or, the, or, or issues with mom because... You know, as you continue to uh, learn a, a higher form of reality, which we will call truth, because that's the definition of truth is a higher form of reality. See, that'll set you free right there. Just say that three times. My truth is a higher form of reality. And so who creates reality? 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then you mess around and write down that higher form of reality. Some people might call it a Bible. Sacred text. A manual. A guide. A scroll. You know what I'm saying? If you write down the higher truths and that's, and, and looks to me and somebody will read that and then that's what they call writing the vision. So somebody will read that and when they say they'll run with it, what they mean by that is they'll see that and say, oh, I can do that. I should do that. I want to love people. Oh, I want to do that. I want to invest in people. Oh, I want to do that. I want to dig wells and, and, bring, and bring fresh water into a reef. You see what I'm saying? That's all that is. It's a higher form of reality. So that's how, that's how you, you create a, a, a belief system. So all we're doing, all you're doing is getting rid of the old stuff that you used to believe or that you were taught to believe. And, and, uh, and this all ties into mama and daddy, you know, childhood things. That's all. And you're just saying, I got a higher form of reality. So your higher form of reality will tell you that my mother, though it was rough and, and tormenting, it was, she wasn't necessarily my enemy because a higher form of reality will let you understand that you don't have any enemies. There is no enemy. The only enemy is within. How is that? Because the darkness within will tell you that you do have an enemy and that everybody is against you. And what will that do? That will cause you to shrink back because you can't trust. You don't trust. You aren't willing to trust. But love is free. The heart is open and your heart has an intelligence and an electric field. It can literally change the atmosphere and the minds and hearts of other people. Your heart's electromagnetic field can do that when you walk into a room and it, it knows how to heal itself. But you have to, in your physical understanding, you have to, because you have to carry it. That's what the weight is, the grief and the sorrow and the, and the, of the breaking, so to speak, is simply your heart healing even more. But your heart will take a licking and keep on ticking. I'm so serious. Why are we talking about that? Because I'm just trying to tell you, what if you didn't try so hard? You don't want your heart to break, but I'm trying to tell you that your heart has an intelligence and it knows how to heal itself. It's been broken and you have loved and given and been open in many lifetimes, especially those of you who have had really, really difficult interpersonal relationships that began with mother wounds, you know, judgment and criticism. So many, many lifetimes, many, many times your heart has been broken and you have come back for more. I know you don't believe it now because you're like, I'm so tired. I am so tired. But that's what you do every lifetime. And then guess what you do? You call that. You say, I give up. You surrender. That means you release the control. You release all the stuff that the world has put on you and you go right back to what? Love. You simply relax and release. And then God steps in and makes everything so clear. The light comes on because the light within shines brighter than the darkness that is in trying to enclose it. You cannot stop your light. So you don't have to struggle and try so hard. If somebody is not ready to open their hearts and give you love, say thank you. And just know that you don't have to struggle for who you are, for what you are. You don't have to beg for love. You are love. And you know, I know you don't feel like I want to hold it with it. I want to just, but I want to hold somebody else. Exactly. And you will get that. You will get that when you truly believe that you deserve it, but you got to love you so that others can love you. And that, and when somebody rejects you, okay, that's okay. You know what I mean? If something disappoints you, okay, don't run from the emotion, feel the emotion. Your heart is very resilient. You've done this many, many times. And the, and the sooner I'm not trying to force you or push you, but I'm just trying to encourage you that it hurts. Yes, hell yes. It hurts like hell. It hurts. But the sooner you say, oh, that hurts, something, somehow, some way will always lift you back to where you need. <laughs> Love will lift us up where we belong, where the eagles fly on a mountain high. <laughs> yeah. You know, ah, yeah. Mm. You said love will lift you right back up where you belong. So know that. Believe that. So yeah, what if we didn't try so hard? Don't try so hard. All right, don't try so hard. Ace of Cups. Ooh, do what you love. Love what you do. Just love, love, love. That's all. Just love. That's all. Thank you, Holly Joe. What else? What else? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The sun. Oh my gosh. You know the days are solar eclipse. Listen, hey, Celeste. You know what I'm saying? The sun, the sun is out. This is so many new beginnings. This is flying high. But then we say love will lift us up. The light. Who's the light of the world? Who's the light of the world? Say it. Say it with me. Who's the light of the world, right? Where, wherever that falls for you. I know Jesus is the light of the world. Yeshua, how all of that. 
You know what I'm saying? You are raw sun god. Do, listen, put it in, if it's helping you become a better person, put it in the pot. Okay, please. Please, please do not limit yourself. Blessed Scorpio said, I'm the light of the world. Yes, you are the light. You are created in the image of God. Okay, so that makes you divine. How, where, where do we miss that part? Ye are gods. Where do we miss that part? The sun. So shine. Be happy. Right? It's easy. Eight of wands. <laughs> I told you some of you are communicators, writers, artists, or, or, or in transportation. But eight of wands. This is, this is traveling. You're going to be going places. You are going places and see yourself going places. Be very beautiful. Christ. Christos. Mm -hmm. Christos. Healers. Healers. Are the yes. Beautiful. Thank you, Celeste. Five of Swords. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Get out of that conflict. Choose to be happy. Choose love. Your heart has an intelligence. Your heart is very intelligent. Many, many lifetimes. Many lifetimes you have done this. Many lifetimes. This is the one you were remembering uh, so clearly now. Okay? It's coming back. It's coming back every day. You're changing. You're evolving. I'm so serious. You're changing and evolving. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Air signs. Come on now. Aquarius in, in, in particularly, but air signs. Come on now. Fire signs. Where are you going? Fire signs. Where are you going? Where are you headed? The Fool card. It's a new day. It's a new start. It's a new moon too. Also, I believe there's a lot going on in the galaxies. A lot going on in the cosmos. Yes, the Fool card. That's it. There is an upgrade. I heard that song today from Beyonce uh, or yesterday. Let me upgrade you. And just the dance in particular. Some of y'all really do that dance well. It's like, or something like that. I don't know. So, you know how she do the little footwork. But anyway, I'm not going to try to stand up and do it. But the point is, if that's you and you're like, oh, that's my dance, then this is all up in. Don't try so hard. What if you didn't try so hard? Just enjoy yourself. The King of Cups. Look at that. What if you didn't try so hard? Just enjoy yourself. Right? King of Cups is somebody that's in touch with their emotions. Very emotionally balanced person. Okay? Very emotionally balanced person. Some of y'all need to go sailing or get on a boat. Get on a boat. We said that traveling message. Starfish is here. This Prince song, Starfish and Coffee. You might want to listen to that. That somebody sings. Starfish and Coffee. Yeah. Three of Cups. Maybe somebody wants to take you to the beach and y'all going to go to Starbucks or something or go to go have coffee on the beach somewhere. These are friends. Are they on the beach? Oh my gosh, they're near the water. I can't believe it. But the three of cups, there it is again, water signs or water in your chart, but it's about your emotions. Oh, shine's taking me over. But it's about emotions. Um, heart space, celebrations, good news. Weddings, huge announcements. Surprises, extravaganzas. Ooh. Okay. Thank you, Red Phoenix. Okay. That's what I, okay, that's the message. Oh, wait, I got to give you one more card. This is just a little healing advice, just a little healing advice card. Okay. Um, and then I'll take one question and I'll come. No, I won't. I'm going to come right back because I got to get ready to, um, partake in this solar eclipse. <laughs> so um, what I'll do is um, give you this card and let's say 1230. I will come back with uh, a twin flame. I'll come back with a, like a romance read, like love, strictly love. We'll look at something, somebody's relationship. Doesn't that sound good? Can y'all be back in eight minutes after I give you this card? Seven or eight minutes. Yeah. I just need one white heart. I'm coming back anyway. I mean, you know, remember... <laughs> At 12.30 Eastern Time. Eight, about eight minutes. I'm going to give you this card right now. We're just going to do a relationship. So all, if you want to get in on this, all you got to do is just think about the, the person that you're thinking about. You know what I mean? Just think about your, your connection and then the energy will be in the, in the deck. You know, it'll be in the card. So if you want to come back for that, because that's what I'm pulling from, because I'm going to be asking about your stuff, whoever's on the live. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Here's our final card for tonight, for, for tonight, for today. Um, oh, love, <laughs> love. That's so appropriate. So number 28, I believe number 28 is significant to you. That looks like somebody's birthday. I heard September 28. I also heard October 28 and August 2nd. Okay. Um, this woman is looking at, remember I said artists, okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you artists, but this woman is looking, um, at this, just see what well, she's looking away, but look at the man in the photo. I mean, the portrait looking at her. I feel like there's, there's a, 
a longing. He's looking at her in a longing way and she's looking away. You might not even be thinking about this person or you have done your darndest to get this person out of your mind or out of your head. But um, he is longing for you. I might even use this as the energy. I'll, pull, I'll put another card on this one when I come back because this feels very strong. Uh, uh, twin flames and separation. But uh, let me just tell you what else I'm feeling with this card. This love card is about um, spirit. God just wants you to know it's so noble. You learned the way you love. Your ideas of love came from somewhere. Of course, your your childhood. Whoever whoever you considered yourself loving or loving you. Um, your caregivers, your parents, like I said, that maternal figure, like I was talking about earlier. But you um you are learning how to love at a at a in a different dimension at a different level in a different place uh, differently is what i'm saying so it's not normal if you will not not traditional it so to speak it's it's a very it's a something spiritual that you are learning through these connections these relationships that you have and have had think about it connect the dots so you don't have to try to force anything just let things flow and they're flowing to you okay let things go hey kj love you too and and they're flowing to you um just as soon as i say that i'm telling you what there's it's so watery the energy is so watery because it's a uh, flow to you you hear that flow to you mm. let the rivers of my worship flow to you Lord, I pray in all I do, let the rivers of my worship flow to you, oh. like streams in the valley, they swell with the rain, let the song of my heart, let it rise and bless your name and flow to you. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I haven't sung that. Woo. Look at this. Look at his face, though. Flow to you. Look at his face. Look at the card. Flow to you. Let the rivers of my worship flow to you. in a whole different way. Y'all, I got to get out of here for a hot second. Unless y'all just want to stick here for a minute. Let's do it. I'll cut. Let's do it. Let's just stay. Let's stay right here. Send our mind Let's stay right here. Let's stay right here. Kobaye na she yele koko se tsendi ali ukona. Ya ya, ustenene ma ike. Yes, okay. So we're going to go with divine masculine longing. There's a, there's a senendo monda le kaya. Woof, that was good. <laughs> that was good. E yele bu shigita di zidi li kikuna. Iza, iza, iza. Love you, KJ. Go, 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 Ah, yeah, yeah. In a loop. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. Um, thank you. Let's get the situation, shall we? Ali Gujo. So he's coming for you. He definitely is, Miss New Jersey. Oh, I thought they said uh, Miss New. That's Miss New Things. Yes, I, I heard the song. Um, Let me let me tell y'all these channel these channel songs today at the tree, as I'll call it. I was at the tree today. Um, uh, when I first saw you, I said, oh my, that's my dream, that's my dream. <laughs> but, mm, mm, 
I needed a dream to make me strong. Eh, make me strong. There you go. Anyway, anyway, so that's uh, you're my dream. You are my dream. So you're perfect. The, look at look at the face. Look at him. It's a whole portrait come to life. That's a message. It's a whole portrait come to life. Mm. So anyway, and so he's like, you're my dream. So yes, I, I was at the tree and that song began to play. And then I heard, I'm coming for you. I'm come, Write that down. Put that in the chat, please. Put that in the atmosphere, please. I'm coming for you. Oh, woo! Y'all feel that? Ah, settle. I'm coming for you. Elanda, look at the picture. I'm coming for you. Oh, I know y'all feel that sacral chakra activation. I know y'all feel it. So here's the situation. Ania. <laughs> here's the situation. Ania. Ania. <laughs> Ooh, I love love. Ania. Ania. Oh my gosh. Entrapment in your mind. You don't believe it. You believe it now though, don't you? Say, I believe it. Entrapment. This is somebody pulling your strings. This is self-sabotage. This is self-sabotage working overtime on you. You see how that person's in the back standing with that wand and she's laying across the bed. Look at that blue dress. You gotta, you gotta watch the colors, baby. Because that blue dress is telling me that somebody's trying to control the way you express yourself, the way you speak, what you believe, how you how you function. Yeah. So you entrapment. You better believe that they are coming for you. You better believe that this look at this. This man is in a portrait. That's an oil painting. That's an oil painting. Somebody might even be astral traveling. You know, uh, I, I, I know there is 5D. Um communication. I know that. So your mind is, 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 is being, you know, controlled at times for the, to the negative. Don't do that. Don't do that. So in, in this life, listen, family and tribe in this life right now, physically, you need to be finding other like-minded people. You need to find people that think like you. You need to find people that understand what you are um, dealing with in your life. You don't need a lot of people, but you are going to be finding family and tribe. Some of you, it will be your actual family members coming to you for advice about the spiritual walk or spirituality or, or you know, just like, like somebody's about to go rogue is what I hear, like about to go rogue. So if you are a, a family ministry or coming from a, a family of ministry ministers, you know, there's a few siblings, especially if y'all are siblings. I'm, I'm just heard like the Jackson five, like all of them preach. That's what I heard. All of them preach, Sarah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but so, like two or three of y'all, you already left, but two or three of them are going rogue because of you. And now I'm seeing, um, yellow Labradors, puppies running out of a gate, running out of a fence, running down the street, happy, just finding homes, you know, so happy. All right. So the family and tribe, you're going to be finding people right now, or you need to be finding people. Just open, open yourself up for it. And it's going to be happening. Also, you're connecting to your roots. Some of you are more of your ancestry as well. That's something you need to be doing. You've been, you're being guided. You're being nudged to do that. Mm hmm. All right, spirit needs you to know this to be grounded. You got to be open to be teachable. How teachable are you? If you feel like you know everything, if you feel like there's nothing else you need to know, if you are feeling impatient or undecided or confused or bewildered or doubtful or afraid or, you know, challenged or you're tired of struggling or whatever, you know, spirit wants to, to say to you, enjoy the lessons, embrace the lessons, enjoy the challenges, embrace the challenges, um, understand, overstand that, this is for your your growth and healing. If it could be gentler, it would have been gentler, but a gentler way of doing that would not have given you the results that you are now um, experiencing with your growth and your change, right? So how teachable are you? Spirit wants you to know, keep yourself grounded by staying open to the possibilities, open to the lessons. Yes? Everybody good? Let me give you some numbers right quick. Number 20. 34, 28, and 9. I already said 28. All right. Number 10 is also showing itself. 111 is also showing itself. And 19. I'm also hearing 19 days. I'm also hearing 19 keys. I'm a, okay. That's a person. I'll say, okay. But so I'm hearing that though. And I'm also hearing 19 and a half 
hours, 19 and a half hours. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. Somebody did something for you. For, maybe somebody was in labor also for 19 and a half hours, but I'm hearing that somebody, someone did something for you or will be doing something for you. That's going to take them about 19 and a half hours to do. It might have to do with art or mural or a contract or um, I'm here now I'm hearing a lucrative offer and it might have to do with um, something about sneakers like uh, art on sneakers okay I do see those Air Force ones and I and I see colorful like I see art and uh, yeah so and so let's talk about your emotions also at this oh yeah woo, feeling good sexual arts okay sexual arts is another card about pleasure it's about it's a uh, in your in your emotional state you should feel sensual pleasurable pleasure seeking um hedonistic is a word that we kind of sometimes go mm, but it's a it's okay if you understand what it is it's simply saying i want to make sure i'm happy first i'm not going to put my pleasure in your hands. In other words, I'm not going to make you responsible for anything here having to do with my pleasure because I love myself so well and I know myself so much and I know how to evoke sensual pleasure within myself so much that I'm okay if you don't know how to do it. How teachable are you? I'm willing to teach you. I'm comfortable enough with my communication. Where's that other card entrapment? I'm comfortable enough. Nothing controls my mouth or my mind, but my heart, right? So I'm comfortable enough communicating to you what brings me pleasure. And so I only seek partners that are teachable. I only seek partners that are open. I only seek partners that want to understand me and know me. You know what I mean? So it's, so that's, that's the energy that is, that is you, that you should be in, imbuing or, uh, yeah, imbuing right now. Okay. I almost said in bed, but this is the embody, imbuing, embodying. This is the energy that, because I just see you stepping into something. And I also see your, like the color, your color changing, you know, like this, this glowy, pearlescent, you know, effervescent, you know, it's this beautiful orby, you know, you know, orange, like look at the colors in the cards. Like, that's what I see. It's very, it's very beautiful and ethereal. It is ethereal. It's angelic. So, but it's, it's, it's so it's pure and it's passionate and it's like everything, you know, it's sticky, but it's not, sti you know what I mean? Sticky, sweet, sticky, sour. You know what I mean? It's, it's that kind of, oh, the duality. I love it. I love, I love what I'm feeling. So in your emotions, I hope that y'all can feel this energy. I hope y'all can feel what I'm trying to exude. You know what I mean? Inside, you feel it. Cause it's, it's, it's like it churns. Now they're showing me that machine, that ice cream machine, that, that, mm, mm, y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm. <laughs> you know, you feel that? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. The anointing is so strong in this energy, man. So that's what that's what's happening within this connection. So let's let's get a little deeper. Let's get a little more specific and and pull your person. Go ahead and just think about your person. Just you know, kind of think about um, you know, think about the thing. Think about you know what you want to know. What what are they what are they thinking about this love thing? Did I pull? Hold on, let me, let me, um, that's my overall energy. I was like, let me shift, because that's not what I hate, entrapment, family entrapment. Okay, so let's see what this, this mind thing is right here, because that's the issue. Like, what's going on in your head? What's controlling you? What are you, you know, letting doubt set in? Like, what's happening? What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? All right, entrapment. Um, 34 is here. Oh, my gosh. Is you is. I'm hearing is you is or is you ain't my baby. Are they the one or are they not? Twin flames. Y'all know what this is, okay? Y'all know what this is. So as I already said, they're coming for you, right? They understand that I am your twin flame and I'm coming for you. So get out of your head. Believe me, I'm coming. I'm hearing, believe me, I know the most men know. Uh, Raheem Devon. Y'all know what It's like, believe me. You know, mm, mm, I ain't like most men. But yeah. Mm, mm. Raheem Devon, that's the song. I know it is. And it's called Believe. Believe, I believe. Okay, believe. <laughs> All right. That's not a highway. But anyway, Divine Feminine, what you over here doing? Let's see. We're putting one for you on entrapment. What's what I say? Oh, there it is. Did y'all hear that pop? There it is. Okay. All you thinking about is if, if it's a third party situation, you thinking about a bed, like, you know, just, just all kind of stuff. Should I date? Is, is something pulling me away? But it's a seduction card. I could also read this as you need to 
understand that yes, part of part of your allure is your sensuality, sexuality. Yes. And that's nothing to, to you know, judge somebody for what, why are you judging me? Cause I want to sniff you, you know, I, you know, I don't know something like that, but it's like the seduction part. Is that all we have? Well, no, but it's, it's, a, it's a huge reason why you, you are the only one they want. You know what I mean? I'm coming for you. All right. I'm coming for you. I know you are my twin. See what I'm saying? And, and again, if you're worried about third party stuff, it's like, I don't care about that. I know who you are. Third party situation. Okay. Was it just a hookup? Is somebody, they're also, you know, you're wondering if something else is tempting them from you. No, not at all. They're getting things ready so they can come in like the, like the champ. The champ is here. Coming like the champ that they are. Let's see family and tribe. We talked about you getting with people that understood. We'll start with divine feminine. People understood what's going on. Yeah. Ending some old friendships and connections, bringing in new beginnings. Divine feminine, you've been ending a lot of relationships and connections. Mm -hmm. Lots of growth, lots of change. You're free, transitioning. Old, out with the old, in with the new. Let's see what Divine Masculine is doing. You know, that sounds good. Divine Feminine clearing up some room to get in some new people that align with where you're going. Oh my gosh, and Divine Masculine is right behind you with transcending every obstacle. Ascension, ascending, hot air balloon, trying to be light as a feather. You know what that means? Letting go of baggage, getting around people that support, not control divine masculine. Get around people. They're getting around people that support them, not try to control them. Very nice. Learning from their past mistakes. Learning and expanding. There's a new phase. You guys are both in new phases because you're around new people having new experiences. Let's see this. How teachable are you card though? Because spirit is saying, listen, you got to stay open to the experiences. You got to stay open to what's happening. You got to stay open to, to you know, you got to stay open. <laughs> Right? You got to stay open to what's happening. Okay, right. So passion. They want you to be happy. They want you to have some fun and understand that you're not going to get away from this love. It's insane chemistry. So don't try to squash it down because they want they want that return to the... <sighs> now, why I did that? Somebody with um, green hearts. If y'all can tell me why I did that, what I just did, because I know that was a direct channeled energy. But they want you to go back and embrace that. I don't have to do the sound effect again, but give me a green heart so I can see who that belonged to. <laughs> Just give me the green. I'll, I'll move when I see that green heart. <laughs> Thank you, Lalita Onet. So, so do you understand that? They want you to return to that part. It's not, it's not like, is that all you? Because that's what I'm hearing somebody say. Is that all you? It's like, yeah, well, and... You know what I'm saying? So, you know, go back to that because it's about your sensuality. It's, that's that's an energy. That's an energy to, to make to make money like run to you or whatever you need. If it's not if it's not money you need, you will get whatever you need. Somebody say, like, I need my windows. Well, you need a new set of windows around your house. Be nice. <laughs> And I'm not talking about being nice in the contract. I'm just talking about be nice in life. Just be a good person. Be cool. Be grounded. Be chill. Be 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 beautiful. You know, just be easy. Be sweet. And watch. You watch. You'll get you'll get more than you bargained for. Everything. The animal kingdom. Every kingdom will want to be at your at your beck and call at your feet. It's very it's very beautiful. Yeah, with the windows, KJ. I'm t oh, I'm just saying. You know. Um. So just you know. Be open for those new experiences because they're bringing in like a new sensuality to you. You're going to love this energy. This is about you feeling luxuriant. It's about you feeling, it's about you feeling, I don't know, Ooh, beautiful. Hold on. Let me get this. It's about you feeling beautiful. Huh. And divine masculine is coming through with this sudden change. How teachable are you? So divine master, you probably doing somebody that was stubborn. That's what I'm hearing. Stubborn. They just stubborn. That's what I'm hearing. That spirit guide, that's how you do it. It's like a delay. Stubborn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just stuck it, stuck in their way. Stubborn. Bullheaded. Pig. Pig-headed. Pig skin. Pig skin. So they might have played football. Even um, now I'm here in San Diego Chargers. But anyway, this person, sudden change. Ooh, you know what? Now, instead of saying, yep, you're right, they stubborn. See, because we just cemented that. Now, let's pop up. Let's crash that cement, tear down that foundation, and build this new one. Say, mm-hmm, they, they changed. They've changed. They have changed. They have changed. Put that in the chat. 
they have changed. And there's a sudden change. They have changed. You're going to get some shocking news that may surprise you. It's going to surprise you so much you're going to hesitate. Oh my goodness, somebody felt that one. Woo, mama. Hey, mama. Mama, isha. Mama. It might shock you so much. The surprise will be so much. The shock will be so great that you may say, it's ushama. It's very clear. I see it so clearly because it's something that you want. You have wanted. You have, you could say, oh, I just heard somebody say, I, I could taste it. I could taste it. There'll never be a better, never be. So there'll never be. <laughs> so there'll never be. Be a better love. Okay, so somebody said there'll never be, ne there'll never be a better love. There'll never be a better love. And this thing comes right to your doorstep. Ding, rings the doorbell. It's not the Amazon man. It's not going to be left out for delivery. Eh, you, oh, you need to sign. Eh, you're going to have to sign for this one. <laughs> you're going to have to sign for this one. <laughs> I'm bringing it to you personally, personally, personally. Yeah. See, I got something to give you that the mailman can't <coughs> deliver. I can't phone it in. I can't mail it in. I can't send it in. Or something even by my closest friend. Y'all remember that song? Oh my gosh! I'm bringing it. They're bringing it to you personally. It's something you got to sign for. They'll, oh! You guys. Y'all see my hands? I'm not. The card fell on the floor. The card fell on the floor. I'm going to have to pick it up in one second. But I'm just going to need. One set of white hearts before I touch this card that fell on the floor. With you keeping in mind, I just said that they're bringing it to you personally. Okay? White hearts. And I'm, you ready? Thank you, Lalita. She's always on it. I'm going to get the card. Remember the song I just sang? Did I, can I make it up?